Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know I haven't recorded in a long time, but I'm going to be doing a homestable video today. So, yeah, let's get to the stable. So here we are in the stables, and the reason I've decided to do this kind of video is because I've gotten quite a few different horses since I last recorded, so I'm going to show you them all, and uh, I'm also going to include their characteristics and stuff. So, yeah. Let's get to the first horse. So the first horse is a Hanoverian and um, I got it from Fort Pinter. This horse travels around uh, different areas of Sars Pupils, so uh, he won't be in Fort Pinter if you want to get him, but this uh, the Sars Pupil name for this horse is Autumn Crush, but uh, his real name that I gave him myself is Chester um, because of his brown chestnut-like colour. Chester is a jumper. He likes to, to jump a lot and uh, he loves um, oranges as well. He likes to shake his head about and be kind of more of a horse than a tame horse. And he, uh, he takes the stool next to the other brown horse we have and is the newest horse we have here at the stables. This next horse is a Jorvik Warmblood and his self stabled name is Windfeather, but the name I gave him is a uh, brownie because of his brown colour too. He is right next to Chester in his stable because he is brown and I sort them in colours. Um, and he, he is the oldest horse we have um, first horse I ever had, and he has a warm blood, so, yes. He's got some new animations since the we last saw him, because the Sars horses got new animations on Sars Stable, and so he is more animated, he's, he's a lot more fluent whenever he walks and runs, and I prefer his animations now to the animations he had before. This next horse uh, is Star Sable name is Dark Honey, but I call her Northa as she is a horse, a North Swedish horse, so because she comes from up north, I call her Northa. Uh, she, this horse is a Tinker horse, that's her breed, um, and she has got big fedlocks from the old, older kind of animations. Uh, she is not that old, I'm not sure whether you've seen her or not, or whether she's been videoed, but this is not her. Um, he is in a row of a lot of horses. There's like a whole load from there. But because she kind of sits alone on this horse, she's not as sociable as some of the other horses we have in the stables, so she doesn't really communicate with the others by her school so we didn't really put her next to many horses. Um, her favourite place on this island is, if I just bring the map up here, her favourite place is Harbour Bay Golden Hills which is down here because this is where she came from so yeah that's Northa. Uh, she's not my favourite, but she is one of them. This next horse is quite a new breed that Star Stable has come up with, and this is the Arabian horse. They are known for their big puffy tail, and um, so this horse has it too. I'm not really sure whether to make it a girl or a boy. I'm thinking boy. If it would lift its head up, uh, if it would lift its head up, then there we go. You can kind of see... It doesn't really look like it has much of a gender, so uh, I think it's going to be a boy. But his his name then is going to be Crimson, but his star stable name is Flame Briar, and he's kind of like a reddy color, which is why I got him because he's kind of more a distinct color and a rare color compared to the other horses, the other radiants you can get. Um, but yeah, I really like Crimson. Uh, the last time I rode him was probably about, I think today.
day. Today is the last time I wrote him. Um, uh, he doesn't really have a favorite food, but he does have a favorite place if I bring up the map. His favorite place is the Hollow Woods because he's kind of, he likes nature, so he likes being under the trees and in the shade, so that's his favorite place. Now this horse has probably been featured in a video I made, uh, this horse is a Mustang, and he's a very common known horse, um, but he has quite a rare kind of color. Uh, this is not a very usual colour you might find, but he's a bit like crimson in the way that he's like a reddy kind of colour. Uh, he is a stallion and his name is Tommy, so... Yeah, um, he is also kind of more of the western side, so... I normally, when I ride him, put him in western tack or do western races like... Um, like rodeos and... Um, that one race, the, the Western Bowel Race. Uh, his favourite food is carrots, he really likes them. Uh, I'm not really sure whether he has a favourite place. I think it is Silver Glade because that's where he belongs, that's where his, he originates from, Silver Glade. And so, around here, Silver Glade is here on the map. But yeah. Uh, I take him around Silver Glade quite a lot, also, he quite likes the bustling villages of the village of Silver Glade, so yeah, he likes that the best. Good boy, Tommy. So this is, um, this is Cinnamon, or, uh, for short, Cinny, um, but his star stable name is Cinnamon Chip. Uh, I call him Cinnamon because he is like a cinnamon in kind of color, and again, his coloration is pretty rare because he is like Tommy and my Arabian Crimson because they're all kind of a reddy color. So this is the last kind of reddy color I have. And they're all lined up together because of their coloration and um, Cinnamon is a Frisian. He's a very nice Frisian and um, he's kind of an American horse. His favorite place is probably Salpa. He likes to go around there quite a lot, it's very pretty. And his favorite food is apples because he likes to pick the pips and keep them across the room. Um, but yeah, that's cinnamon. I really like his brown eyes, that's my favorite thing about him, and his hair. I like his mane, it's very curly and yeah, that's Cine or Cine. So this Lipizzana is going to be the last horse you see, and like I just said, he is a Lipizzana, that is his breed. He is bred for dressage, and I have his hair in the plaits as we kind of like to do competitions and stuff for dressage. I really love his grey colouring, he's the only grey horse I own currently, although I do have, I think, a grey Icelandic, but it's not as grey as this horse. Now, this Lipizzana is a mare, so he's a boy. Uh, not a mare. <laughs> Mare's a girl. He's a stallion, so he's a boy. Uh, he, his star stable name is Windfeather, but his name that I gave him is Storm. And if you are wondering what name I actually call them, uh, instead, uh, whether I call them by their star stable name or the name I gave them, I call them by the name I give them. So, I call him Storm, I call my Mustang, Tommy, um, even though his star stable name is Strawberry Spark, um, and I call, uh, I call my Frisian Cinnamon, uh, or Cinny instead of Cinnamon Chip. But, um, yeah, this is going to be the last horse to see, even though I have a lot more. So this video is going to be split into two parts. I'm not really sure how this works out, so I'll be checking in a minute. But, yeah, this, that is Storm.